okay we want to find the value of x in this equation in this exponential equation right here so without waste, wasting our time let us go over to the question okay yeah there are some other ways you can find the value of x in this question but i want to show you one of the easiest ways to get the value of x just stay with me to the end of the video now the very first thing i want to do i want to reduce 9 in its index form so I will, instead of writing 9 i'll write 3 to the power 2 which is also 9 so i'll write this guy to become 3 to the power 2 which is the same as 9 then all to the power x that's just this guy so this, this guy will be same minus 3 to the power 2 all to the power minus x okay there's no issue with this then all upon 3 to the power x minus plus 3 to the power minus x is equal to minus 80 times 3 to the power x yes and you know in indices i can swap this power so if i have a to the power n or to the power n i can write this guy as a to the power n to the power n because you know multiplication is commutative so you can you can interchange them so that's exactly what i'm going to do right here so i have 3 to the power x all squared that's this guy then minus you can predict this one this one will become 3 to the power minus x all to the power square 2 then all upon 3 to the power x plus 3 to the power minus x is equal to minus 80 times 3 to the power x yeah very good now i want to take this question to the other side of the board so stay with me now if you look at the numerator of this rational number you can see that we can apply the difference of two square okay this guy is square and this guy is square so we can apply the difference of two square let me a quick reminder of what difference of two square is all about if you have a square minus b square okay it's going to be called a minus b and a plus b okay this is the idea of difference of two square so you can see this guy is just like the a squared minus the b squared so if i'm to apply the the concept of difference of two square right here i'll have three to the power x as my a minus three to the power minus x okay these guys then i cannot say or oh, let me even take away the, the let me make it so easier okay so this guy will become three to the power x okay minus three to the power minus x okay that's the first part writing the guy without the square okay you can see then just like this one a minus b and a plus b without the squares so that's what i'm doing right now so times the plus now we have 3 to the power x plus 3 to the power minus x okay yeah all upon 3 to the power x plus 3 to the power minus x equal to minus 80 times 3 to the power x okay to this point i hope this is clear Alright, so you can see that this guy can cancel out this guy. You see the fraction has reduced. So we have 3 to the power x minus 3 to the power minus x is equal to minus 80 times 3 to the power x. Oh, this is interesting. So the next thing I want to do is to divide both sides by this 3 to the power x. So I have here yeah, divided by 3 to the power x divide here by 3 to the power x so this guy will cancel out this guy yes that's good so let me take this to the other side of the board so this guy will cancel out this guy okay so right now i'm left with 3 to the power x minus 3 to the power minus x in brackets then by the law of indices this guy can become 3 to the power minus x that's this guy okay equal to minus 80 yeah okay so no issues with this so if i distribute this guy into all these guys in the parentheses so i have 3 to the power x minus x multiply 3 to the power x this will give me 3 to the power x times 3 to the power minus x then minus 3 to the power minus x times 3 to the power minus x 
equal to minus 80. Okay, by the law of indices, what I'm going to do right here, okay, let me take you to the other side of this. So, by the law of indices, I'll take one base and I'll add the exponent. So, I have 3 to the power x minus x. So, plus minus x is the same as minus x. So, minus um, 3 to the power minus x plus minus x is the same as minus x equal to minus 80. So, x minus x is 0 and 3 to the power 0 is just 1 minus 3 to the power minus 2x. This is this guy. So, equal to minus 80. Take this guy to the other side of this equation. So I have 3 to the power minus 3 to the power minus 2x is equal to minus 80 minus 1. Okay, so I have minus 3 to the power minus 2x is equal to minus 81. Minus can cancel out minus. Then I can write 3 to the power, I mean 81 as 3 to the power 4. Yes, so I have them cancel out like this. So I have minus 2x is equal to 4 okay so if i divide both sides by minus 2 so i have s is equal to 4 over 2 and that means s is equal to minus 2 so this is the value of x we are asked to find in this exponential equation i hope this video helped if you find value in this video i wish you subscribe and join us in our next tutorial see you god bless